and I put the shofar down, and I lifted our hands, we were praying the Shema over New York City, and the video camera caught this. Some of you saw this a few years ago. It's, this, the image is a plane coming over the city, and by the view of the camera, it's the exact image of 9-11 as it heads, it intersects with the northern tower of the World Trade Center. Here at the gate of the nation, the day that we sounded the shofar was September 11th, two years before the attack. And then right after that, a, a woman of God who's here today gave me, had, gave me a tape of a, a man who had a vision two years before that, and he saw this shofar coming from New Jersey across to New York City, a big shofar coming down New York City. We came across from New Jersey. We, we came that day. It goes down to the bottom of New York City. It touches the top of the World Trade Center, and then it lands on the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty where we sounded the shofar to the World Trade Center that day. And when it landed on the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty, something happened. A hand reached down from the sky in the vision and removed the statue's torch, which would appear as a sign of judgment, removal of power. But the hand reached down a second time and replaced the torch with something else, with a shofar, and put a talit over her head, a talit. A shadow of judgment, but a shadow of revival from the gate of the nation. And this year, the Lord brought the Messianic movement to that same gate. This is a prophetic movement. We are a prophetic people. And we must sound a prophetic call. We are linked to the future. And, and the day that we were there sounding that trumpet to the World Trade Center on the Statue of Liberty, the Spirit impressed in my heart, there was a change coming. There was a shift coming from the gates of the nation. We were at the outermost gates of the world, America and that the gates were to open. And the age has seen the spreading of the gospel from Israel to the nations. And now must come the ingathering back. From the gates come the return of everything that went forth. The gospel, the church, the children of Israel must come home. The church must come home. For 2,000 years, this gospel, this salvation, this power of Messiah has gone away from Israel to the ends of the earth. For 2,000 years, the gospel of Israel and the children of Israel have gone away from Zion to the ends of the earth. But now, from the ends of the earth, the gospel must come home. From the ends of the earth, salvation of Israel must come home to Israel. And the church must return to Jerusalem and the Jewish people. And from the gates must come the final ingathering. As we are living in the largest diaspora in the world, we must be ready. For we are standing at the gate prophetically of something new. We must be ready. We must be watchmen. For the gate is the place of the watchmen. There is an ancient torch of the apostles and prophets of Israel, the first Messianic Jews and Gentiles, that was the most powerful force ever seen on earth. That must come again, and we must receive it. We are to return, not as the tail, but as the head. We are linked to the final outpouring of the Spirit of God. We are linked to the, we are the closing act of what is to come. And we have a call to be watchmen on the walls. The word of the Lord came and said, Son of man, I will hold you accountable if you do not sound the shofar. I will hold you accountable if you do not proclaim to your people salvation. And we are the ones who are accountable. Son of man, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and turn from their evil ways and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. The mess this message this morning is the sound of a shofar. It is the time of the watchman. And we are called now in the end times to be vigilant as watchmen. You see, we don't have forever to repent. And we don't have forever to get our lives together. And we don't have forever to live out the calling with which God gave us, the holy calling He put on our lives individually and as a movement. We don't have forever. It is time to wake up. If you would ever repent, we need to do it now. If you'd ever get your life together, do it now. If you'd ever preach the gospel, preach it now. If you'd ever save the lost, save them now. If you would ever live victoriously as God called you, do it now. Because we do not have forever. It is time to be diligent and vigilant and to live in the word and in prayer as holy apostles and disciples as in the first century. God will pour out his spirit on the people who are before him. 
It is time to sound the alarm and lift up our voices and save the lost. It's time to proclaim the gospel and not be held back by fear or compromise. It is time to stop compromising with the world and to wake up so we can wake up the world. It is time. We must start rising higher for we are the heirs of the apostles and the prophets as they began. We are the closing last days. It's for us to take up the ancient mantle and God will give it to us. I have placed watchmen on your walls, Jerusalem. It is time that we stop playing around and stop being complacent to love God as never before. The time is short. To draw near as never before. To love others and to minister as never before. To say, I am not ashamed of the gospel of salvation. It's the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. It is time to save the lost and be all out, sold out for him. For the Lord says, I have set you as watchmen on the walls. I have set you, and for Zion's sake, do not keep silent until Jerusalem blazes forth like a mighty torch. Go through, go through the gates, says the Lord. Remove the stones, for a voice is crying in the wilderness. Prepare you the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Let every mountain be lifted up in every valley. Let every mountain cast down. Valleys be lifted up. The crooked way be made straight and the rough ways be made a plain and a highway for our God that all flesh shall see the salvation of our God. The hour is prophetic and prophetic is your calling. Let us, my brothers and sisters, for real, begin to live like it. Let us rise to the charge. May God open our eyes of our heart to see the lateness of the hour and the height and the glory of this calling and this movement. May God strengthen and empower us for such a time as this. May God have mercy and bring his end time revival that we might at last arise and shine because our light has come and the glory of the Lord will shine upon us. For nations shall come to our light and kings to the brightness of our rising. To the most high and glorious name, the King of Kings, the Anointed One, Yeshua HaMashiach, who is exalted forever and ever and ever. Amen.